Hi there. Here is a fun little story. So, um, a while back, um, see, I have, um, I'm actually diagnosed, um, this is not making it up, but I'm diagnosed with something called post-traumatic stress disorder. I've done a video on my, some of my medication before, before it was updated, but, um, yes, I am on medication for post-traumatic stress disorder. It's part of the reason women will date me. But, um, for the topic of this video, I went to the ER a while back because I was having chest pain. And I don't go every time I have chest pain because I know it's anxiety attacks can cause chest pain. So most times if I get an anxiety attack, I can tell that it's just the anxiety attack causing the chest pain. But sometimes I can't think through logically that it's just the panic attack or it's persisting for a while. So just to be safe, I go and get checked in. Well, this pain had happened for two days straight. Um... So, I was on the phone with someone because I was on a medication that could ca new medication that could cause chest pain. Um, so I called uh, the company that works with me for that prescribed the medication, the healthcare provider. The person I talked to was like a a nurse that talked to a main patients for the uh, inpatient ward, which she couldn't really give me advice for what to do. Um, other than to go to the hospital and get checked out because, um, it was chest pain, you know, normally she'd tell me to call 911, but, um, it was, it, because it was for, it had persisted for two days, um, it was just something to get checked out either at, at a, um, urgent care or an emergency department. Well, I don't, I don't drive and it was just like. Pretty late at night, it was like 8 o'clock at night, so, um, buses wouldn't be an option. And I live really close to a hospital, so I just walked to the hospital, told them what was going on. They got me back there real quick. They, uh, the secretary, uh, the, um, clerk, the, or the, I'm not sure what the term is, but the person that did the admission, uh, she got on the phone, she's like, ringing them up right away, and she didn't. She wasn't, no one's picking it up, so she's like, I don't know why they're not picking it up, and she just brought, she personally brought me back there. Uh, she intended, she just brought me back the right way. Uh, so, you know, she brought me back, kind of showed me, showed me to a room, then some, there were three people, three nurses that came in right away. Uh, two male, one female. Um, and, you know, they brought equipment, uh, the one was giving me a shot. Um, with the arm, or not give me a shot, but he was drawing some blood for blood work. Um, the other one was, it, there's a lady doing some paperwork, and the other one was quite giving me questions and stuff, so basically they're questioning me, and then they're hooking me up to a heart monitor and all that, all that good stuff. Um, but before they hooked me up to the heart monitor completely, um, I got to use the restroom, thankfully. Um, anyway, uh, when they were doing the initial assessment, um, the lady was reacting to me without a shirt on, which, you know, she was trying to ignore me, but still, it's, maybe it was my, maybe it's my memory being bad, but she, uh, I, sometimes, back of my mind, thinks she was attractive, but can't be. She was, seemed to be reacting to me without a shirt on, even though she's trying to ignore me. And that got taken care of. They put me, hooked me up to the heart monitor and left me uh, to watch TV and uh, do the initial blood work. And um, while I was in there, you know, I had to use the restroom. Uh, so they can't really take me, uh, take me off the heart monitor. So they brought, um, there was a female nurse that came in uh, with a urinal. Which is what they give you if you have to use the restroom. We are hooked up to the heart monitor. You know, no big deal. It's not exactly the most comfortable thing to use. But it's not like... It's just what they have to do. Because uh, they can't take out the heart monitor. So they brought, she brought that in. And her eyes were like... Like, I mean, it's like... Her eyes are wide. Her eyes are wide looking at me. Looking at me. It's like... And it's just turned out to be um, something called atypical chest pain um, because my my panel came back normal. 
everything came back normal, EKG came back normal, the blood work came back normal, so I was all good, um, just say typical pachesting is what it was called, but, you know, when nurses are doing this, by seeing you without a shirt on, you know, when, and it's in the ER, so nurses in the ER, who I'm sure have seen some things, are reacting to you just for having a shirt off, it's, that really doesn't do well for your confidence. I don't know, maybe they found me attractive, but still, it's like, I, I don't see how I'm not very attractive. I'm, I have a really bad, I got, I got chest and my hair is so thick. I got the hair on my stomach, you know, the hair on my back, arms, legs, my hair on my buttocks, I got hair all over. I got a little bit of hair on top of my feet there, really hairy. But she came in and I was like, I mean, she's literally, as she is getting out of the room, she is so in shock of my body. She is literally, she doesn't turn around to, to walk out the room, like, to watch where she's going out the room. She is staring at me as she exits backwards out the, out the room. And keep in mind, this is a nurse in the emergency department. The emergency department. A nurse in the emergency department. Who probably has seen some things and she's reacting to a guy just for having his shirt off. That doesn't do well for your self-esteem.